That is neat. It's, uh, it's a giant book. You got Black Beauty, Peter Rabbit, Wind of the Willows, Peter Pan, The Secret Garden. That's pretty neat. This is the library, obviously. The new library. Okay. Come on. And right over there is our friendly neighborhood Wegmans. If any of you are East Coasters, you know about Wegmans grocery stores. Hi everyone. Today we're going to get out here and do some finishing up on the bed, I'm going to call it. So the I want to put some legs on it and I'm going to put some stops so that I can't overextend it. So I've been you know coming up with ways to do this that I can do and, and that I think will work. So let's see what I came up with. Hi puppy. Are you uh, supervising today? Okay. Oh, somebody's in here. Hello. How are you? That's a big boy. I am happy to say that yesterday, Lefty got his first crunchy dog biscuit since he had his teeth worked on. I gave him half of one. He seemed to down it without any problem. Crunched it right up, you know, way in the back there. Yes, you did. So now I'm gonna have to watch him to make sure he's not nosing in there, right? Yep, the famous scratch pad. So step two of this is support legs. You know, I used to use these two inch wooden dowels that I would set up every night when I folded the bed out and they worked fine. The, the downside to them was I didn't have any kind of like locating rings on them. And periodically like Lefty would knock one over in the middle of the night. Um, so never catastrophic. And I only used two of them. I had three originally, um, but what would happen is the one down at this end, because there was never really any weight down there, it seemed to fall over a lot. So I just kind of used to position two of them right about like this and that always worked. You know, honestly, I do most of my laying over top of the bench. I don't do a lot of outer edge laying, but I am gonna put support legs under this because it needs them, obviously. And I was gonna just use these wooden dowels again, but I've decided to do something different so that I don't have these loose dowels. So roughly 17 inches. Let me go get my pieces that I got. I also got, you guys are awesome. Uh oh, it's a mailman. Hey, just doing his job. But you guys were awesome with the suggestion for wax. Uh, some people suggested soap, because I had thought about that a couple weeks ago when I was planning this. I was talking with mom about it, and I'm like, yeah, if I put something on the slides, and I'm thinking like WD-40 or some kind of spray lube, you know, but I'm like, well, that, that would stink. It wouldn't be good. You guys are smarter than me. So mom grabbed these at the grocery. It's like canning wax. We used to use these when I was a kid, we would wax the bottom of our sleds with bars of wax like this. So I'm gonna put this on the tongue of all the slides here. So I've got these hinges. These are locking 90 degree hinges. So my plan is, you know, these will mount up under here and I'll attach like a two by two. So the legs will fold up underneath here during the day and then snap them down at night. And I'm thinking three of them. Okay, okay. Right there. Hello. 
Yeah, we're gonna have to run over to Home Depot and get some wood. I'm gonna bring a hinge with me just to make sure it's wide enough. That should do it. Well, some of you commented about what do I have to keep this from pulling all the way out. In this current configuration, I have nothing. So I've been thinking of the best way to do that. So I think if I do something like that, one at each end, that gives me a stop at each end. So this is the exact, this is 40 inches wide. That's the width of the mattress. Hi, puppy. You gonna come check it out? What do you think? This right here, buddy. Is that gonna work? Okay. There's no room back here right now left. There's no room, I'm sorry. So I believe, you know, this is low profile enough and I'll put one all the way at the foot of the bed and all the way at the head of the bed and it won't interrupt the mattress at all. So this, this piece here will remain stationary, you know, screwed down to these stationary planks and then this one will slide with this bar, you know, it'll be screwed down in the middle here and so it'll come up and just bump like that and stop it. So I think that's that's what I'm going to do. It's it's low tech. It's not going to interrupt the mattress at all. You know, there's not going to be like a bump and that should that should solve the issue as a bump stop. You you're going to Lay right in here while I'm working. Left. Dude. Oh dear. You know what? Yeah, I don't know if you can see the sweat. It's one of those days. Temperature's not high, but the humidity is very high. And I'm just, I'm drenched. You know, it's 10 a.m. and I'm just, I'm saturated. So those of you that live in Phoenix and out in the, you know, New Mexico, Nevada, I get it. You guys get 110, 115 degrees. You come back here, you get an 80 degree day with 90 something percent humidity. You'll be running back out west for that dry heat. You walk out the door from the air conditioned house and it's like somebody throws a wet hot blanket on you here. Just the, the moisture in the air, it, it's, it's oppressive. It's unsafe. I mean, I am just soaking with sweat and I'm not even really moving around a lot. And it's that's just the way it is here. You gotta, you gotta drink constantly here, even if you're not doing activities because you just sweat. At least I do. I don't know if I'm a big sweater or what, but it is, it's one of those days. I'm gonna go get the, the smart telly fan and bring it out here. I usually carry it around with me and just point it at me and turn it on wherever I am. It's up uh, by my laptop. I had it blowing on me up there earlier. That is better. Sorry about, you're gonna have to have a little background noise of the fan, sorry. The smart telly doesn't make a peep. It's the, it's the max air that you're hearing up there, sorry. But it is, feels way better now. So my mattress is actually 39 inches wide. I just remembered that. When I ordered my mattress, I just measured my area and ordered it, not thinking about I should get it to match a sheet size. And just by luck, a twin extra long is one inch wider. So a twin, twin extra long is 40 inches wide. My bed, my mattress is 39 by 80. So I got very lucky. So twin extra long sheets fit this perfectly. Uh, so I'm going to go 39 inches. 39, there we go. So mom's had this block of marble in the corner. I think it's marble. Yeah. In the corner of the garage. What's it from? Any idea? No. 
So I'm like, I need something to put these up against so that I can get them exactly level so that I can screw it down and I thought of that, so. And the board moved. I watched a terrible movie yesterday. It was uh, Tomorrow's War with the dude from Guardians of the Galaxy. What is his name? And also, I think he was in the dinosaur movie. But he directed this terribly corny movie. Absolutely terrible. Some good science fiction effects and everything, but just a corny movie. Just, ugh. I was at the end and I was laughing at how bad it was when it came to the end. Because they had the, you know, the neatly packaged, summarized, everything works out good in the end kind of ending. And I'm just like, oh, come on, you know? I'm gonna call the bed project done. Everybody. Well, you might wonder why I'm working on wood again for the bed. Well, I'm improving on my design. So this is the grab bar that you grab and pull the bed out. When I first bought the wood, they didn't have a full eight foot piece. I, so I took two four foot pieces, cut it to the length I needed, and then joined them together in the middle. Well, when I was pulling them out, it was allowing them to, even though it was attached in the middle, it was allowing it to, you know, pivot. It was causing it to not slide as good as it could. So I went to Lowe's this time and they had poplar, one by three, eight foot long. So I've cut it to length. I've rounded both ends. Someone suggested that I do the end out by the back doors, which is a good idea. So I've done that. Just sanded it so that the leading edge is a little softer where I grab. It's actually the back edge that I grab. <laughs> Maybe I should sand that too. See? Woodworking. Not my thing. Left, I'm busy. I'm busy. Hey, English. That is not English. What's the matter? Are you wrapped up? Yes, you are.
That feels better. Yeah, it doesn't pivot in the middle anymore. I've got my bump stops on both ends. It's, what, quarter of an inch, these two little areas here. Okay, now I've got to put the legs back on. There we go. It's very sturdy. Not going anywhere. Very sturdy. You know, once the mattress is on here, it kind of spreads the load out. It's not like I'm going to be standing, you know, dead in the middle of one of these slats. You know, it's only 13 inches from here to here. And I do most of my sleeping kind of right between the wall and out here. I don't do a lot of outer edge stuff unless Lefty kind of pushes me over that way. <laughs> but I'm... You know, we're going to find out if it works. So I am going to call this done. Unless I wake up in the middle of the night thinking about something else I want to change. But I'm going to try not to do that. Thanks everyone for watching me fiddle with the bed. Everybody take care. Be safe. We'll see you all again really soon. Probably on my next project. Oh yeah. This is the good grass here. The thick, the thick bladed stuff. He's just crushing it this morning. <laughs> he, he, and I know a lot of dogs eat grass when they have a bad stomach. He just eats grass to eat it. Um, you know, there have been times when he will take some grass in right before he upchucks, but 99 times out of 100, he's just eating grass to eat it. He seems to really enjoy it. Only certain types of grass and only certain time of the year, obviously, when it's fresh. I mean, he's just crushing it right now. <laughs> he's, he's clipped off these clumps of this thick bladed stuff. He's, he's trimmed off the ends. And he's just loving it. This is one of our go-to spots here that has this kind that he likes. <laughs>